don't do this for a living. In my other life, I'm a lawyer, but it's becoming a bit of a drag. You know how it is. Another day, another thousand dollars per hour plus GST and disbursements. But I was reading some Victorian legislation and it occurred to me I might be able to make a living out of just reading it out instead of having to interpret it. And that way I've got 132 experienced and highly paid clowns writing my material. And that's just the Victorian Parliament. If you don't believe me, let me tell you about one of my favourite pieces of legislation. Um, it's the Sex Work Act. Now, interestingly, it used to be called the Prostitution Control Act, but in 2004 the Parliament changed all of the prostitutes into sex workers and presumably gave up any concept of control. <laughs> but Section 3, Section 3 is very helpful. It contains a definition of vagina as follows. Vagina includes the external genitalia. Now, you can call me a pedantic lawyer, but I think that means I've got one too. <laughs> it's, the, it's the best thing the Victorian Parliament's ever done for me. I'm delighted to have my own statutory vagina. It makes me a lot less... <laughs> it makes me so much less anxious when I'm going out on a date knowing that I've got one to take home, irrespective of the outcome. <laughs> it's, it's a wonderful thing. But uh, my writers in Spring Street, who, from my perspective, just really didn't have a proper grasp of what's commonly regarded uh, by the public as a vagina, um, decided in 1998 to amend the legislation. Um, and according to Hansard, the purpose of the amendment was to make the practice commonly known as lap dancing a sexual service for the purposes of the Act. Well, this is how my writers described a lap dance. Sexual services includes permitting a person to view any of the following occurring in their presence. A person masturbating himself or herself, or two or more persons masturbating themselves or each other or one or more of them, <laughs> in circumstances in which there's any form of direct physical contact between any person viewing the occurrence and any person taking part in the occurrence. And for the purposes of this definition, a person may be regarded as being masturbated whether or not the genital part of his or her body is clothed and the masturbation results in orgasm. Now, I thought I'd had a lap dance, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> One thing that I am sure about is that my writers in Spring Street are getting much better value for money than I am. But the best part about being a lawyer is whenever there's any complexity or difficulty in the legislation, we get to earn a quid. I've got a chair in the corner of my office, and for a fee of $50, I provide on-the-spot advice as to the compliance or otherwise of any dancer's routine.